Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're getting an API MS Win CRT Studio 1 slash 1 slash 0 DLL is missing from your computer. So hopefully this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial and we should get this resolved without too much of a hassle. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So, we're going to begin by opening up a web browser. Doesn't matter which one, I'm going to open up Google Chrome for this tutorial. And you want to head over to google.com and you want to hit enter. So, once you're on Google, you want to type in Visual C++ Redistributable for Visual Studio 2015. You want to hit enter. One of the best matches should be from a Microsoft domain to download the Redistributable for Visual Studio 2015. So I'm going to just left click on that one time to open up this page. You're going to scroll down a little bit to get to underneath Visual C++ Redistributable for Visual Studio 2015. Underneath select language, make sure it's the correct language, and then left click on download. If you're running a 32-bit system, you're going to select the Times 86 download. If you're running a 64-bit operating system, you're going to select the 64-bit one. I'm running a 32-bit OS, so I'm going to select the second one. Most of you guys are probably going to be selecting the first one, the 64-bit download. So just keep that in mind. There will be a slight difference in that. So once it's done downloading, I'm just going to left click on it one time to open up the file. And again, it's going to left click on it one time. You're going to get an open file security warning. Left click on Run. I'm going to minimize that of a web browser. Agree to the license terms and then left click on install. If you receive a user account control prompt, make sure it says verify publisher Microsoft Corporation. And then left click on yes. And it should say set up successful once it's done. Recommend closing out of here. Restart your computer and hopefully your issue has been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.